Now, Fox Connecticut Morning News. TGIF. Yes. Good morning and welcome to Fox Connecticut's Morning Extra. I'm Rachel Letzker. And I'm Eric Ayers. Great to have you with us this morning here at Morning Extra. Yes. Always happy that it's Friday, too. We survived Always. the week. And yes. I, I think survived. everyone's in a better mood. A Everybody's bit. in a better mood. And it's I'm actually Friday. thrilled. Survived my first week back as, yes, as congratulations. a mom. It's fabulous. Transition. Thank you. So we're going to talk a little bit about skipping breakfast this morning, which today, not necessarily a bad thing, but usually, you know, you don't recommend it because we're thinking dessert and cocktail. Hour Straight today. to dessert. Completely, because it's National Chocolate Cake Day. So we're headed to the kitchen and learning how to frost one, and then we're going to indulge in a chocolate cake martini. And not wait. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? Right. <laughs> so, like, I'm on Morning Extra, sticking with our chocolate cake theme. Now that we've got the cake, we need the cocktail to wash it all down. Up next, our Max or Mixologist shows us how to make a chocolate cake martini. All right, it's time to get down to business here, rolling up the sleeves. Erica got to frost the cake, so I get to toast it this morning. Our master mixologist, David Brogan, is here to pour us a chocolate cake martini in honor of National Chocolate Cake Day. Yes, in honor of National Chocolate oh, Cake Day, delish. I have the ultimate decadent sinful cocktail. That works. Now, dessert cocktails yes. seem to be very popular. They are. And chocolate cake, obviously, mm -hmm. one of the most popular. Right. So how do we kind of put all this together? to make the perfect cocktail. Well, we all heard, we're going we're gonna to walk right through this, but we've all heard of the seven deadly sins, yes. right? Mm -hmm. like wrath, greed, all that stuff like that. Well, I decided that there's an eighth deadly, there's an eighth deadly sin. It's chocolate. Uh, and many people and so would agree to that. this is going to be the ultimate chocolate <laughs> martini. And uh, again, it's called the eighth deadly sin. Now, I see that you have a ton of uh, ingredients right. here. I mean, you would probably think, okay, you just take like a chocolate vodka and you throw it in there and there you go. Well, you can do that, but that's, but, but that's, that's, that's not fun. That's not fun. Why not impress your guests by just pulling everything out of your liquor cabinet? Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of things here that you wouldn't really think would might go, but really going to enhance the drink because they really play well off each other. All right. And we're going to start. We have our mixing glass filled with uh, ice, and this is Russian Standard Vodka. It's the number one selling Russian vodka in the world. Classic Russian uh, vodka recipe. Okay. And it's very sweet and has a cream-like finish, which I'm is perfect for this. this. Yes, you can do a four count. One, two, three, four. That's an ounce and a Whoa, half. Oh, that's okay. a lot. So then you're also going to give a three count. This okay. is um, dark Godiva liqueur. One, One two, two, three. three. Very good. I feel like I you have a heavy a little bit hand. More. Let's do a little bit more. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Now I'm just going to do this. This is a white chocolate uh, Godiva liqueur. Just a tad of that, a half so an ounce. So we're just kind of putting a splash So we're everything. putting a splash. And this is dark uh, uh, creme de coco. We have white creme de coco. So we're just adding a lot of chocolate flavor. And this adds a lot of flavor. Yeah, it does. It really does. They all play really great off each other. A little Kahlua for a little coffee-like mm -hmm. flavoring. To it. Love that. And then we have Frangelico. This is the original Italian hazelnut liqueur. I love Yum. it. It's got a little nuttiness to it. Okay, a little half ounce. And then my favorite, personal favorite, I love Chambord. Great raspberry liqueur. Okay. And we're right, going to shake it up and this pour, pour it. it out. So we can see what it looks like. And we're going to give it a good shake. I'm sorry if I see, got no, you. When I do that, it usually ends up all over the kitchen. <laughs> we don't want that. It's on the ceiling. <laughs> okay, so here you go. I'm going to okay. do the pouring on us. Okay. Put that right on the top and hold it right there. Okay, hold it right there. And then I just pour. And then pour. just pour. Yep. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, wow. I can smell now, it. It looks like a chocolate milk. Shape. I know. And the glass has been rimmed okay. with like a frosting like oh, wow. uh, <gasps> yeah, um, chocolate fudge with raspberry in it. Wait, wait, one more thing. We're going to garnish okay, it. Garnish. Dress the drink, dragon fruit glazed in white chocolate with I love raspberry. my job. What do you think? Mm. That is so... So good. Happy National Chocolate Day. Yes, yes happy National Chocolate Day. Indeed. Oh, my oh, my goodness. Goodness. And drink God, our dessert. Look, David, thank you for this awesome look. recipe. What a great way to oh kick off the weekend. Cake. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us for Morning Extra.